Hello everyone, it's Pierre and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at my Indonesian tiger fish or gold datnoid. It's a big, bold and beautiful predator. Before we continue to talk about this rare and amazing fish, I'd like to thank you for being a subscriber. And if you aren't one yet, please hit like and subscribe down below. It really helps me bring you more and better videos. Unlike some other datnoid videos on YouTube, I actually own this fish and have raised it from a baby, which allows me to share my knowledge and experience with you firsthand. This fish has many other names including fine scale datnoid, four bar datnoid and gold tiger perch. Its scientific name is Datnoides microlepis. The gold datnoid is native to Southeast Asia and particularly Indonesia and the Malay Peninsula. It's a freshwater fish and lives mostly in rivers, and it's sometimes caught for sport. I got my fish when it was a 3 inch long baby, about 5 years ago. For that size, expect to pay anywhere between $50 to $100, with the price going up depending on the quality, symmetry, and cleanliness of the stripes. This fish is relatively uncommon in the trade, so don't expect Petco or PetSmart to carry these. If you want to get your hands on one, your best bet is a local fish store or even online depending on where you live. Indonesian tiger fish are tropical fish and require a temperature range of 76 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. They can be adapted to live at a pH of 6.5 to 7.8. They are big fish and produce a lot of waste, and so it is very important to keep the nitrate levels as low as possible by doing large and frequent water changes. Personally, I make 90% water changes every couple of weeks to keep this tank's water clean. They also require adequate space. They grow to between 12 to 16 inches in captivity over several years. My 5-year-old datnoid is now about 15 inches in total length. I recommend a minimum of 120 gallons for a single datnoid and ideally 180 gallons or more. I keep my datnoid in a 265 gallon system with polypterus and catfish. Some mild water flow will be appreciated as they live in rivers in the wild. Datnoids are predatory and eat fish, shrimp, frogs, and insects in the wild. In captivity, they can sometimes be difficult to feed and become temperamental and even go on hunger strikes. However, I've found them to be intelligent and trainable, so you can eventually get them on pellets. I was lucky that my datnoid ate pellets from the beginning. I've also fed my datnoid slivers of tilapia, market shrimp, earthworms, and of course, carnivore pellets. They have a protrusible mouth that they are able to extend to gulp food whole. As you can see, they have a lightning fast strike that is impressive to witness. Datnoids are predatory but not aggressive. They can be kept with non-aggressive fish that are big and fast enough not to be eaten. They sometimes squabble with other datnoids but if you keep five or more of them in a tank, they will do fine and a dominant fish will emerge. They can be kept with polypterus, large catfish, arowanas, peacock bass, and stingrays. Remember that if it's small enough to be eaten by the datnoid, it will be. One of the aspects of datnoids that hobbyists talk about is stability. This is when the datnoid's colors change and darken, revealing spots and fading of the stripes which are thought to indicate that there is something that is making the datnoid unhappy or stressed out. When buying a datnoid, one of the things that you may be told is what percentage of the time the datnoid is stable, with 100% indicating that the fish is always confident, bold, and happy. And it shows in its behavior and color, coming up to the tank and exploring confidently, and is almost always a beautiful golden color with distinct black stripes. As you've seen from this video, the gold datnoid or Indonesian tigerfish 
is an unusual, beautiful, and big fish with an inquisitive and bold personality. If you can get your hands on one and have a tank big enough to keep it, I highly recommend picking one up. Please remember that I love reading your comments and answering questions. Again, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.